good. It's a Wednesday. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. It is noon central time for me on the 18th of August. And I'm up here um, giving you some goodies to go with and have some fun um, at the uh, local place that I do my, my uploads. And thank goodness it is raining out. That's why you see me, because otherwise I'd be working on something. You know me, I'd be uh, out there cranking away. But we need the rain, and it's given me an opportunity to uh, uh, get a few videos up to you. I haven't had much of a chance to do a lot, but I've you know wanted to touch base with you folks because it is it has been a bit. Uh, let's see, a um, few things we want to talk about. Um, First off, uh, let, you know, uh, housekeeping. I have uploaded two videos to uh, my other channel, Heritage Homestead Creations, part 18 and part 19 of the Apple Presses. I am nearly done with those projects. I've got one more motor mount to build for the, the third Apple Press. Get the motor mounted and wired up, and then I'm done with that. So maybe a half a day to a day to finish that. I'll put links in the description below. Uh, please check them out. Um, everything's looking good on them. I'm very happy with them. Once we get that done, um, my next project is going to be the uh, dual tooth setter. So I want to get that done pretty quickly here because it's something that I one, one need to get done because uh, I've got a lot of blades that need to be addressed before I go cutting uh, some more wood and we'll be doing that later this fall we got a lot of a lot of projects to to do as far as the homestead's concerned um uh doing a lot of other projects with my community members um it's um you know slow tough going but we're we're working on it um uh and i hope you are too um so uh you know some of you are new uh, I know I know I've got some new subscribers that have come over from a different direction um, and welcome for those of you who are new um, been a long journey uh, and unfortunately some, you know you know you've missed out on some some crazy stuff that we've dealt with um, and some wonderful homesteading uh, stuff that we go through what T and I have done to build the uh, the place that we have and uh, so I want to do a little reflection with you and so my my question is can you hear the swoosh can you hear the swoosh of the toilet flush because um, it has begun um, you know I still get into conversations with some of you and caught there's so many of you that I talk to on a regular basis it's good it's really good to have a large community that I've developed with many of you online because I get the reports of your observations. It's all about our, you know, seeing the world around us and the changes that are coming or are occurring or have occurred. So, you know, in the last year and a half events, worth of events, um, I feel, feel I was, um, I, I felt like I was right on when I said um, January, you know, year and a half ago, January, that um, it was time to get to your GTFO location, and uh, that you know, at your best, at your best to get it ready, get things done, because I saw the triggering event uh, unfolding for what we have been talking about for going on nearly a decade now since the. Um, Previous uh, financial um, market, financial market uh, hiccup, the speed bump on the road to the big tree. <laughs> so, where do we stand, my friends? Um, we are rapidly watching a lot of stuff swirling around the big um, throne bowl, <laughs> uh, Barry. Yeah, you, you got a good one. It's sitting on it, and it's all circling around. Barry and I were joking about um, uh, the throne, the throne, and uh, well, let's put it this way: it's uh, 
So T and I and many of the recent videos have been telling you about our observations because we are continually trying to acquire, uh, acquire um, resources and, and not just for us but for our community members as we help them get ready to, um, uh, for the, the next level of poo that will be going down the big um, sphincter seat. So uh, more and more, more and more things that we're seeing. Uh, you guys can leave um, some uh, observations in, in, your co in the comments about some of the things that you're seeing disappear rather quickly. Um, and again, I must say this, I'm not sure if I've said it in a, in a YouTube video. Or, yeah, I think I have. I've said this in some previous videos. The, the psychopaths that are controlling uh, the corporate manufacturing know the exact ingredients to pull out of a particular industry in order to cripple it. And we've been getting more and more um, feedback on the crucial items that have been uh, pulled out of the puzzle to, that pretty much, pretty much makes the puzzle um, incomplete. You, you can't have it. Uh, for example, we discussed the primers take out primers you got no ammo and it's the cheapest easiest thing it would be the most readily available thing it should be the most easiest thing to have in your entire industry of ammunition but they take out the smallest canning lids finding canning lids is near impossible um, and you know that is the least expensive item that you need when it comes to food storage home food storage um, one of the channels that I watched just put up a video, uh, Otibosaurus Rex, uh, was talking about getting your hunting glass. And, you know, the, a, lot of the, a lot of the optics companies, even the ones here in America, the lenses are all ground in two main countries. One is Japan and the other is China. And he was making a very big warning. If you're looking for glass for your uh, your pew pew, uh, you, you, you might want to get it while there are still some. Um, the facility that I'm in here uh, lost its air conditioning back in April or May and they have yet to be able to get anyone to get out here uh, to, to put in a new unit. Um, and in dis discussing with the manager here, um, air compressors, or not air compressors, compressors units for, for air conditioning um, are getting hard to find. So I can go on on a list uh, of all my observations. Y'all can share with, uh, with the uh, community in the comments. Uh, the, the little critical items, the things that are disappearing. There was a new store that was put in somewhere local uh, here to me, and it's uh, they have a hardware department. Well, when they went to um, you know open up this new store, they could not fill all the bins of hardware and bolts. They couldn't get the, the normal supply of bolts and nuts and stuff because there's certain ones that they're not getting. Paint, rattle cans, clink 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 those things um, they're empty shelves not just at Walmart but uh, at my O'Reilly's the, the colors are disappearing so you know when I tried to you know warn everyone uh, what was coming down I tried to do it at such an early opportunity while things were still on the shelves and it is amazing how quickly that is is not happening uh, or excuse me how quickly those things are not showing up how quickly the supply chains and I hope that word isn't uh, an algo tripping word but the supply chain is shutting down on a global basis the articles that we are seeing on on shipping containers the cost of shipping containers the the um, 
traffic jams at ports, so on and so forth. There are a lot of things that are happening. Um, our friend uh, Roy Potter was noting uh, a few days back, uh, there was a video he put up about um, there, not that there was a diesel fuel shortage, I think, if I heard that correctly, but, um, oh, they decided to start rationing diesel fuel for truckers, which didn't make sense. But these are the things that they're doing, the powers that be, in order to shut the global system down. I can go on, I can go on, and I can go on about the critical need there is to have these resources specifically um, for self-sufficiency uh, because there was an old statement uh, many youtubers said this five six years ago uh, there will be the haves and the have-nots so for those of you that um, are still sitting on cryptos even though they're going back up um, and oh and I, I do want to make a uh, an interesting comment I did um, I did a video back in April when I got that funny phone call from a three-letter agency individual about hey that the cryptos would puke before just before you know before the markets puked and that basically the suggestion was to lick a little bit off of the ice cream cone you know take take a little you know um, take a little off the top um, you know, I almost, um, you know, and I'm, you know, I've, I, and I've done that. I've, I've, I've liquidated when, when um, the price of silver went up and, and, and you could sell it. You could get uh, 33, 35 an ounce if you were selling it directly to a, a buyer instead of a, a, a coin dealer. And I did that with a few. Um, you know, I, I took a little bit of that so that I could have other things that I needed in order to have a functioning homestead to get materials and parts and pieces I've done that I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to doing that now but what, what you got to realize um, we discussed this years ago we haven't done a whole lot of talking about it in the last few years since I've been on the homestead but the point is this we are in the middle of the crack up boom and the crack up boom is when the people wake up to the realization that the the, the currency units that they have are losing their purchasing power and uh, they need to get real stuff for that while they can. Now there is another aspect to that that we didn't um, calculate in our original discussion. In our original discussion we were just talking about people wanting to get these resources and that that would essentially clean off the shelves. We had never in our thinking in that discussion discussed the powers that be actually shutting down the manufacturing shutting down and closing um, the production through corporate control and government edicts which we're dealing with now so it's happening a lot quicker in that aspect than I had originally um, uh, expected however I'm going to forewarn you again how I'm feeling this because I think um, there are a few folks that um, there are a few folks that I watch that are a little bit more optimistic than they should be um, recent um, I'm gonna say cliff high um, type uh, scenarios some on uh, JC's and, and some other channels uh, that that there will still be stuff available once this system has its next financial hiccup and once the precious metals take another big jump um, in, in uh, dollar uh, value so that our purchasing power is, is, goes up, my, suspe my suspicion is that we're going to see um, the, the next phase of the crack up boom in as much as uh, the disappearance of items on shelves are going to uh, explode and they're going to explode uh, with big holes all over the shelves 
we will see, I think, at that point in time, for all of us who have been um, hodling our uh, uh, liquid resources, and we're going to convert them to solids, uh, solid resources. And I think that's going to be huge, because when that happens, it's going to happen a lot quicker than the last 18 months. And more people will have woken up. Unfortunately, we're going to have all the other chaos involved with the um, uh, the uh, depletion of humans due to the um, thing, the shoulder tap um, jab uh, that is uh, that is expected to occur in the next. You know, six to eight months. You know, through till next spring, how how bad that's going to be. That's it's going to be crazy. Um, so, you know, if you're sitting on a stack of of digital or a stack of physical, you may want to reconsider what you value more. Do you value having power, or do you value shiny stuff that you can hold and my precious my precious and not have power something you want to consider well my friends um i just wanted to check in and 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 um see how you all are doing and um let you know things are moving pretty fast pretty fast right now so um you know y'all know it i'm just giving you an update of my observations Please check out the videos and the, the video links in the description, and I hope you really enjoy the uh, the uh, trail cam video that I think went up right before this one did. And uh, stay focused on what you can create and as fast as you can create it. All of us are going to have to be much faster at manifesting the things that we need for our little arcs of safety. Okay. It's got to happen a whole lot quicker now. There is no longer the luxury of, well, it's still on the shelf. I can, no. I'm ordering enough things now that I know that we don't have 12 months. We probably don't have six months. We may only have two to three months of availability of goods on the shelf. So... It's not pleasant watching the world you live in shut down, but there is that big swoosh. And if you can hear it, I hear it. Do you hear that whoosh going down? All right, my friends. Um, Y'all be blessed, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.